I get questions sometimes from from newer trappers, especially, uh, what do I, how do I store my baits and lures? What do I do with my baits and lures? Um, you know, during the off season, during the summer months, uh, and so I was just going to kind of touch on that. Uh, and I will, I will say that if you're unfamiliar with trapping baits and lures, and you're just getting started and you order some, um, you need to know that they're very strong. Uh, just because these lures are sealed up in a glass jar does not mean that the smell is not going to permeate and fill up whatever room that you've got them in. So I, I had, a, I had a, yeah, a question from somebody that ordered a, one of my lure packs that I sell, bait, lure, and urine. And he said, man, what, <clears throat> what do I need to do? This stuff is smelling up my whole garage. My wife's complaining. She's getting upset. I said, you know, that's, that's something... As a trapper, I've never thought about because you know, anytime I, from from when I first started trapping and was around lures and baits, you know, you you walk into a uh, a convention where there's all kinds of vendors set up and you can smell immediately. Uh, it's it's strong. You don't have to crack the lid. So uh, be prepared if you are new to trapping and you order some lure bait and lure. And you want to get get into it and test it out. But it is strong. So if you want to kind of dull the scent down some. Um, if you you know you're going to be storing them in a place that's a, a shared space with your wife, and uh, you want to stay on her good side, which is uh, always a good thing I figured out. Um, the, if it's what I found, especially with really skunky lures, you almost have to store them in like a paint can or a metal container full of kitty litter. Uh, you can you can get away with the kitty litter maybe in a plastic container. Um, but that metal container, that, that's how I store my skunk essence. When I, when I extract skunk essence and try to contain it, I put it in a glass jar with a lid, put it in a, a paint can of kitty litter and seal the top. Uh, and that, for the most part, will contain it in. But man, that skunk essence will it'll get out of everything. So anyway, just a little side note there. Uh, trapping lures and baits are very um, odiferous, if you want a $5 word there. And uh, <clears throat> so just be prepared know that ahead of time moving on to the storage um, you can see this is my this is my lure bag straight from this past trapping season uh, and so what I do is I kind of situate everything make sure nothing's turned over where it might uh, might spill and uh, so I just simply take it like that and I put it right on the shelf and it stays there if I pick up a, a summertime job you know I'll grab it and go um, but I, I don't do anything with it I, I got a little mini fridge that I keep I've got Two freezers in my in my first shed, um, but I keep my lure all right on the shelf, and I've got lure and baits. I mean, some of them I've had the the labels have fallen off uh, or worn off because I've had them for so many years. That for whatever reason, as a trapper, it seems like you're always trying something new or different, so something will get pushed to the back burner. And so I, I know I've had lure and uh, baits that I've had for five years, used them, and had no issue. And the reason for that is. That when uh, when lure makers are making those um, lures and baits, they they'll get it to a taint, if you will. They, they'll they'll take whatever their base is, their meat, and they'll usually allow that to rot for a certain uh, for a certain period of time till they get it where they want it, and then they'll actually add a preservative, and so that'll keep it from rotting further and kind of maintain the smell. And so that's what you know. All these pre-made, pre-packaged baits and lures. They're, they got a preservative in it. So, and now, I, disclaimer, I'm no lure and bait maker. This is just my experience being around around trapping. So if I got any lure or bait makers, feel free to correct me. I am all ears and I don't want to steer anybody wrong. But in my experience, you know, once they put that preservative in there, that lure's good on the shelf and uh, there's, no, there's no issue. We had, there's not very many people uh, in Georgia that are trapping supply dealers right um, so I know there was one fella in South Georgia when I first started trapping and I went to his shop several times and he had his all his lure and baits out on the wall and that's where they always stayed he never had them uh, and I don't think he kept his building uh, cool all the time so uh, just just I'm probably dragging this out a long time but just to kind of let anybody know that has any questions bait and lure just just keep it stored keep it out of the out of the weather is the big part and the biggest hassle with that I found is that if you get them with um, with the metal lids that and it'll, it'll it, this will happen too just from trapping season usage but those metal lids on the glass containers will rust and some when you get to go to use them next season they'll be tough to 
tough to open, so that's why I really like the glass containers and plastic lids. Uh, but anyway, that's just a uh, gist of it. Store them in a place that doesn't bother your spouse, and uh, don't worry about it till you get ready to use them again. Hope that helps.